Hi, this is Chris with Montana Trout Fitters, and today we're going to be tying up a little pattern called a pine squirrel leech. And it's a very simplistic pattern to tie, and it's a very simple pattern to fish, and it's very effective. What we'll be needing for this pattern today will be some Dairiki 810 size 6 bass hooks, some small Wapsie cone heads in a nickel black. some crinkle mirror flash in pearl and a pine squirrel skin here pre-zonked in sculpin olive. Mind you this is just one color of this pattern you can use a lot of different colors of this black is effective, purple, red, brown, gray you name it and the leech in the system that you're fishing you can tie it in that color so how we'll start this pattern today is we're going to take our thread in and butt that right up against dot the back of the cone here and we're going to take that back to the back bend of the hook go ahead and trim that off and the next thing you need here is just your piece of pine squirrel select a long enough piece of pine squirrel here that you have something to work with we're going to go ahead and use this one here and then what you want to do with this is you're going to kind of separate off a small piece on the back here that's going to hang off for your kind of tail on this pattern and the reason why you separate that out is so that you have a tie in point here and we're going to tie this in with a couple of soft loops you can see this stuff already wants to spin which is good that's in one of the natural tendencies of this material here is to kind of spin around the hook and we're going to use that to our advantage. So pull that material back, go ahead and wrap underneath it. You're going to take that thread forward, put it right up against the back of the cone there. Now we're just going to take this and wrap it along the hook and then kind of push the material back so that it falls back on itself so that it's not all getting crammed on top of itself. We're just making these wraps one right next to the other and then as we get up to where we're almost right behind the cone I'm going to back that off one wrap and this is kind of a hold in point here this is where we're going to take a piece of our crinkle mirror flash here and we're just going to leave that in on one side I'm throwing in a soft loop here to try to trap that piece against the hook You kind of rotate that right over to the other side, trap it right on the other side of the hook. So now we got a piece running down either side. You can come in, measure this out to about the length of your leech, trim it off. Final step here is just going to be to take this and make one more wrap with that pine squirrel to kind of cover everything up and butt it up right against the cone. We're going to come in right behind that cone, trapping our pine squirrel making sure that we've got that nice and secure and we'll just come in you can either trim with scissors or a razor blade whichever you prefer and then to finish this off I'm just gonna go ahead and make a few wraps of thread with our whip finisher right behind that cone I like to do two of these just for good measure trim off your thread and you're done. As you can see, very simple and easy pattern. Moves well through the water, has a lot of movement, and breathes really well, and when this thing gets wet, it comes alive. And there you have it, your pine squirrel leech.